man behind me is a professional graffiti artist, so we can't show his face on television. However, that's not going to stop us talking to him. Oi, narrator! <laughs> I'm narrator from Los Angeles. I started doing graffiti around the age of 12. It was a lot of different crews when I was growing up. A lot of crews that uh, battled against each other and, you know, also fought against each other in certain ways. I mean, I, I lost a few teeth for graffiti. So, I mean, you know, it just wasn't just graffiti. It, came, it also came with, like, the lifestyle that a graffiti writer would live. You know, selling this, selling that, doing this, doing that. If you're a real graffiti writer, you know what I'm talking about. You know, they don't, <laughs> they don't live the average lifestyle. But, you know, it was about getting up, too. It was about painting. It was about getting your crew up, getting your name up, seeing yourself around town, seeing who sees you. And then if they top you, you go back and you top them back. And, you know, a lot of cats over here would be like, oh, now it's just about the street art. But it came from, a, like, a really grimy ghetto thing. It's like you're drawing on these walls and they're in these neighborhoods that are supposedly like some gang territory. And if there's like these gangs that are seeing your stuff up and then like sometimes they'll even hunt for you. They'll, they'll, they'll ask other people like, who is this? Who is that? And then they'll, they'll like, um, they'll find you. They'll find you somehow or another if they really want to find you. And uh, like, they, for instance, they saw one of my homies and, you know, they randomly at a party. You know, they, sh they shot him and, you know, he, for graffiti, he claimed his crew. And, he claimed his name and he didn't, they just shot him, you know, point blank. People think it's just like, oh, I do graffiti just to paint it, put it on this canvas and shit. Fuck that, I, did, I used to do graffiti. I caught, I caught a felony for that shit. Fools die for that shit. Like, this shit ain't no joke right here. This shit was, the, this is the most dangerous sport in LA, in the world, if really, if you take it this serious. These guys are losing their lives out here for this shit. Now I, I get a thrill and, and a rush kind of when, I'm doing the huge wall for, for the community because it's, like it's like a bigger thing now. Before it used to be just about me and I just used to love seeing my crew up and seeing me up and you know, but now it's become more of a thing about for everyone. It's been, been like doing these huge walls for the community. Something that you thought like it was really nothing and you were getting arrested for now we're getting huge budgets for and huge commissions for so it's it's definitely it's definitely something that it has evolved into a greater positive message than what it used to be. Prime does pay, but it's also about sticking to what you're truly passionate about. In the long run, if you stick to it, you know, the money will come regardless. Uh, I mean, it's not the American dream, but it's, I guess it's my American dream. <laughs>